This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have a great tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at Saint. This tool is a Java-based spyware generator for the Windows platform. It can capture keystrokes, snapshots, webcam snapshots, and send it all over email. This tool is written in Java and was developed by Tiago Rodrigo Lampert. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. We'll take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how to generate a spyware binary in order to capture keystrokes, webcam, and Windows snapshots from the target user's machine. First, let's run the saint.jar file. We need to feed the required information in order to generate the spyware like email ID and password of the attacker's account where the stolen information will be sent. For all remaining options, we can enable those by selecting the Y key. Please note that you might not do that in a real situation because storing data on a target machine and making spyware persistent may trip endpoint security solutions or help the forensics investigators. Moving on, the last important parameter is to set the number limit of keystroke characters after which the mail will be sent. This is a very clever method in comparison to periodic updates, which can result in useless self-spam and raise suspicion. Then we can generate the spyware in an executable format. We can find the generated spyware in the launch4j directory. Now we need to share this executable with the target user using social engineering. Once the user executes the binary, the spyware will start in the background and start monitoring the system. Now to simulate user activity, we will type some text on the target machine. If we check the inbox of the attacker's email account, we should be able to see an email from the spyware containing keystrokes, webcam, and screen snapshots. The main advantage of this tool is that it doesn't require an active or interactive command and control. The spyware can send updates as soon as it connects to the internet. Also, the traffic will be outbound and less likely to raise any alarm, another reason to not execute untrusted binaries on your machine. But that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. Do you have an open source tool that you would like to appear on the show? Then send us the GitHub link at our email address at media at pentesteracademy.com for consideration. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Want to learn about another tool? Then click on any of these videos right over here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos.